Hello and welcome to Chewing the Cud. It's been a whole week since we saw you last, but we've shown up like the proverbial bad penny to bring you a look at some showbiz news, a quick glimpse of stories from the internet, and another one of our life lessons. But before we get deep into it, let's speak to the man who some people think looks like a young Brad Pitt. It's Lee. That's Brad Pitt from Benjamin Button. Yeah. When he's old. When he's old, the start yeah. off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm back with some insightful showbiz news, and as a hint of what's to come, I've got a story about how you can spend the night in an iconic 90s comedy TV house. And although I've been asked to stop, I've been rummaging on the internet to find stories like what to do if you're a bit of a hoarder. If you want to keep up with our latest shenanigans, you can always find us at The Cud TV on all your social media sites. Our website is at thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us as a podcast, search for Chewing the Cud. And if you have commented, shared, or clicked like on one of our social media platforms or posts, then your name could be sliding along the screen now. Just sliding. Okay, Mike. I think it's time we just do things for fun this week. Completely agree, as long as I'm still winning. Yeah, bless. Um, no, you're going to lose, as always. Yeah. Game of the week. The producer is just back from a fishing weekend at a seaside nudist beach. He hoped he'd managed to reel in a whopper and says that he'd never seen so many mussels in one place. But all he came back were with some crabs. Fishy. So to take our minds off that, let's play a game of First Drafts. That's a film that might have been very different if just one of the letters in the title was changed. So scientists managed to clone ancient pigs from the preserved DNA for an exhibit of a zoo. But the animals get loose and attack. So I think that's Jurassic Pork. Yeah. Mm. Can we see? Yeah. yeah. It's going to take me a while to get to get that. Yes, Jura Jurassic Park. Park. Yeah. Na, 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 mm. na, 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 Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> bacon. Um, <laughs> let's have it. Let's let's see the next one. Let's let's. The galaxy is controlled by a tyrannical empire, who have spread verrucas, boils, blisters, and pustulence. Throughout the land. Ooh. Ooh, that's different. VD Wars? VD Wars. <laughs> How old are you, VD? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get rid of it. Um, I don't know. You don't know? So I, I think I might have. Do you think you know? I think it's Star Wars. Oh, okay. Look. Oh, it, yeah, this is obvious. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be your game today. Okay, should we have another one then? So, man with a speech impediment saves hundreds of children from Nazi death camps. I've got it straight ahead. Oh, wait, my list. I'm going to stutter his list. <laughs> no, so, it's a letter that we're changing, just one letter. Oh, the letter, it's not the just word. The, not the word, just a letter to change the word. I think you're getting close with Schindler. Schindler's list. Speech impediment. Lisp. <laughs> Shall we see if that's right? <laughs> Schindler's List, oh. well done, Lee. Do you know what this is like? It's like, you know when you like have an old person in a home and you yeah. want to keep them going, you don't want to let the brain liquefy. Mm -hmm. This is this is my, ver yeah. Yeah, I know, mm. just like it, an old person, so like, when, you're close, <laughs> just have another thing. <laughs> oh, let's, let's, I, oh, I, got, I got one right, so that, yeah. you're kind of. Let's have, a, let's have another one. Bruce Willis plays a hard-hitting New York policeman who likes nothing more than shooting people and making batik. What's batik? It's a fabric design, I believe. Okay, it's way off my head today, this. <laughs> uh, um, is it, I think, correct me, I'm sure I'll get shouted at me here if I'm wrong, um, but it's where you, you put wax on um, fabric and then put dye over the top. Okay. I've been told that's right. Oh. And I failed GCSE textiles, why? You did GCSE textiles? I, yeah. Was that under the, the heading of homosexual studies? <laughs> <laughs> With, so I did textiles, drama and history as my did, options. And home economics. I didn't do home economics. <laughs> I got to choose textiles or home, home oh, economics. Music and movement. No got drama. GCSE Pro, in full that. dancer. No <laughs> drama. Um, uh, okay. Um, die hard as in D-Y-E. Oh. That's what I think. What shall we see? 
Yeah. Yes, yes, well done, Lee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still don't really know what batik is. Shall we move on quickly? Mm. Rome has lost one of its greatest emperors and a noted violinist and pyromaniac. <laughs> they have a long swim to relocate him. That's weird. That I'm sure I've seen a DVD that's very similar to that. Felching Nemo. <laughs> Nero, I meant to say. <laughs> what, what, felching Nero? Felching Nero. Finding Nero. No, because it's like the Greek thing. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're saying felching Nero, and I'm saying finding Nero. <laughs> Should we see who's right? <laughs> oh, finding you were right. Nero. Yes. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> Surprising how how few so like big movies include felching. I have seen Fisting Nemo though. Have you really? One, two, and three. <laughs> it's very little left of him by the by three. Oh dear, it's the age old question of do fish have fingers? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Shall, shall, uh, shall we have another one or shall we see what point? I, I, I don't think I've got any points this week. I think you've got one point. Have I got one point? Oh, you've got two points. Oh. But I've got three. Okay. Right. So, yeah, all to play for as long as I still oh, win. Okay, okay. Okay. They thought it was safe to go back in the litter tray. A story of killer kittens. Mm hmm. Ooh. I can hear a weird noise. Is that you thinking? <laughs> I don't, I know, I kind of know so, the tagline. So, Thought it was safe. So that's a Jaws reference. Oh. Isn't it? So killer kittens though for Jaws. Claws. Oh, claws. Yeah. Uh, shall we see if you're right? Yeah. Oh. Pause. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Pause. Pause. Oh, I can have half a point oh, for that. Oh, that's, that's generous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting mm -hmm. it wrong. That's good. Okay, shall we have another one then? <laughs> Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a flying atlas. <laughs> You're looking at me like I wrote them. <laughs> See, I know it's Superman. Uh-huh. A flying atlas? Supermap. Sup Supermap. Superglobe. Super, that's not changing a letter though, is it? Globe. No. <laughs> Supermap. Yeah, Supermap. Oh. Supermap, see? Okay. Yeah. Well done. Yay, me. Yeah. Oh. Still can't get Fisting Nemo out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's a marvellous watch, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you one time, if you touch that butt. <laughs> <laughs> a group of hapless scientists set out to capture a number of spirits who gather in the subway. Oh, I know it, before, before I'm even Ghostbusters. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> the synapses just suddenly snapped that's, into life then. That's taken you how long for <laughs> yeah, the synapses no. to start firing Yeah, today? <laughs> wait, get it up before they go, before they retreat back. You said that before. Yeah, go for Yeah. Yeah. You know, I didn't get a chance to answer. Go on, let's squeeze another one out. Titular superhero joins the HMRC to help ensure that even baddies do their tax returns. <laughs> That's... I don't know. I, I have no idea. So baddies join... No. A small person. <gasps> Batman does his returns. <laughs> can I have a, I can have another point for that. It's... it's no, no, half point. Half got point. To, half point. Oh! oh Batman begins. But you could see where I was coming from. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I can see where you're coming from. Yes, you're right. It was wrong. Yeah. We've got. Oh, right. Okay. We've got it. We've like. Let, let's. Let, as I'm, you know, starting to pull ahead. Should we stick one more out? Yeah. Let's. Let's. Let... Oh, it's another titular. The titular superhero joins Rent to Kill after Gotham City becomes infested with vermin. Ratman. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Now you've woken up. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing so well while you were there off asleep. I'm yeah, it's Ratman, isn't it? Ratman, yeah. Ratman. It's Rat, that. 
Batman. Oh, Ratman Begins. Ratman Begins. Oh, that's oh, different. No. That's wrong. No, I, that's still worth half a point because <laughs> they got the Ratman. <laughs> well, Gallery is saying you're getting a full point. So if you're oh, half, yeah, hurrah! Show it. Show it. Show it. I've won. You've won. I, well I, done. I came. I, I was like, I was like, zapped with those heart paddle things. The defibrillator. The defibrillators, and I was brought back to life. Okay. To beat you. Okay, well, it's not the first time that's happened. <laughs> and still to come, we are bringing you the next life lesson. But that's just after the break with Lee and the Showbiz News. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Just because he's here every week doesn't mean we can't find some more scandal. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. One would think that at the moment, these kind of reality competition shows would be on hold because of the Rona. Mm. No, 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 no. Oh, There's ways and means of doing these things. So, um, Dancing on Ice mm -hmm. is due to come back on our screens in January 2021. But at the We're going to have to wait till January next year. It's not that far off. Oh, can it not be further? Well, you know. It just, you know. Um, so they have announced hmm. the uh, competitors for the years. The <laughs> celebrities. I'm not going to say celebrities. <laughs> celebrities. Um, and they, so... On these reality shows, they've all have to go into like bubbles mm -hmm. um, to kind of because they with their partners and stuff to 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 get over the the rabies. Rabies. Um, yeah. That often celebrities have. Yeah. Um, so um, Dancing on Ice have revealed their their lineup. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Probably know about two people. All right. Okay. So we're looking at Rebecca Vardy. Who is she? I think she's that footballer's wife that had a had a fight with Wayne Rooney's wife. No idea. No. Um, Billy Fayers, again, no idea. Oh, she was from um, Towie. Oh, okay. Uh, Denise Van Uten. 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 Denise Van Uten. She. she <laughs> like some sort of yogurt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mylene Class. Now, for some reason, I thought Mylene Class had done the ice thing. No, she did pop stars, didn't she? Because that's where she rose to fame. Yeah. Has she done like the simple. dancing one? The jungle one. I think she did the jungle. Okay, right. Lady sure. Le, Lady Lachure. Lachure. I don't know who who Lady Lachure is. Um, nah. John Warren Plant. I don't know who these people are. Um, Jason Donovan. Yes. Yes. I, I, I kind of. Yeah, we know who he is. Um, Rufus Hound, a comedian. Yes, no Rufus. He's Hound. quite. Yes, quite, he's quite funny. funny. Yeah. yeah. So so the other people, I have no idea who they are. Have we got any other names on there? Any other names that you want to know? Sonny J. No. No. Uh, Graham Bell. No. Didn't he invent the telephone? Uh, Alexander. Oh, no, okay. Colin Jackson, the former oh, yes. sportsman. Now, he did um, Strictly. Did he? He did, yeah. I think it was Colin Jackson. Colin Jackson? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I anyway. um, um, And Faye Brooks, whoever Faye Brooks is. No. Um, uh, there's no word this year if they're going to have a same-sex partner. I thought they were going to have a same-sex partner. I don't know if they are, because last year they had H from mm. Steps. Yeah. Um, Colin Jackson is gay, mm -hmm. so I don't know. They've not, they've, they've not said. They've not said. So, um, but apparently bosses are really happy this year <laughs> with that lineup. Really happy. Um, okay. The amount of money that they spend to lure these people in from their celebrity caves oh, is, is phenomenal. I'll do it so, for a tenner. <laughs> I'll do it for a pasty. Um, <laughs> you do out for a pasty. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. Written on the walls. Um, so, um, Strictly have also announced their lineup. Okay. So yeah, they, they, again, I, I I'm struggling again with 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 the mm. lineup. So so some of them are recognised. So Jamie Lang, the blonde one. Biscuit Factory Man. The Biscuit Factory Man. Her, yeah. his, his ankle last year got replaced by somebody from Emmerdale. Mm -hmm. Is back. Bill Bailey, comedian. Love Bill Bailey. Yeah, I wonder if he'll be using his xylophone. Nicola Adams, who is uh, a boxer. Mm -hmm. um, and Gold medalist, I believe. A gold medalist boxer. Mm -hmm. She is going to be Strictly's first same-sex 
partnership. So that that is they're in their bubbles, and then it, so it starts towards the end of October. Now we've spoken about I'm a celebrity before. I was a celebrity. Um, yeah. I was a celebrity. We thought it might be going to Scotland, mm. but it's not. It's going to Wales. Ooh, Wales. So Wales. Um, they have found it. So this is Anton and Dak mm -hmm. and their foreheads. Um, it's it's a castle that they've they've located. Okay, for the, there's plenty of those in Wales. The, yeah, it's, I don't know how to say it. I'm going to say Gurich. Gurich. Gurich Castle. There's a picture of it there anyway. Okay. Um, so it's massive. Um, mm -hmm. Now, I don't know how they're going to kind of do it, really. It's a 200-year-old castle, mm. and they've rented it for a million. Whether or not they, you know, like fill it with crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> not Open not the door, <laughs> shut it, put a big lock on it, and let them get on with it. Now, again, I would pay for that. I'd pay to see that. <laughs> put a wildebeest in there. And, oh, put a tiger. Oh, there's a, it's getting even better. It's getting even better. Um, so, yeah, that... <laughs> <laughs> so recently, you're changing it from it's like I was a celebrity, get me a career to release the menagerie. Yeah, <laughs> and see who lives. It looks a bit like. Do you remember Fort Boyard? I do, with Melinda Messenger. Yeah, wasn't what's his face from uh, EastEnders? Didn't he do it for a little while? Leslie Sucky Finger, um, Leslie Grantham. <laughs> he did it for. I mean, he did, didn't he? He did it for a while. I'm sure he did. What was uh, with the sucking of finger? Well, you, that was the famous thing, didn't he? Got done in the in the in the papers for doing the Rudy Doodies uh, on his webcam thing, like sucking his finger to talking to ladies. All right, so it wasn't like he was doing something illegal. He was just no. Next bit of showbiz news. We we like. A celebrity biopic film, don't we? Do we? We do. Okay. There was the Elton John one. I very much enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. Because it had um, Thingy Bobby, Thingy Bobby in it, didn't thingy it? Thingy Bobby, Thingy Bobby. Yeah. Um, now I've completely edited. forget. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was in it. Um, and then we had Bohemian Rhapsody. was less keen on that. Um, and there are other ones in the works. So Boy George his, is in the works at the moment. Do you, would you not like to see a Boy George biopic? I, no. No. He's done that many documentaries about how he had a hard life and he was homeless and had to dos and had to do this and had to do that. And I'm bored of it. It's okay. not a new story. Queen of Pop, mm. Madonna. She has announced that she is doing her film version of her life, but she's producing it and directing it herself. And starring in it, probably. So she's written it, <laughs> produced she's, it. <laughs> um, she's going to write the music. She's got the bulldog clips ready yeah. to kind of stretch <laughs> that skin at the back. So, yeah. So she, so she is going to... So this is, this is, the, this is her, her statement. I want to convey the incredible journey that life has taken me on as an artist, a musician, a dancer, a human being, trying to make her way in this world. The focus of this film will always be music. Music has kept me going, and art has, art has kept her alive. You're not convinced by this, are you? Art has kept her alive. Mm -hmm. I thought formaldehyde she... was keeping her alive at this point. <laughs> there, she has many untold, inspiring stories, and who better to tell it than her, herself? But who is going to play her? She, I mean, she'll she, play herself. She can't play herself. She can't act. That's why. But she'll, she'll, she'll still be doing it herself. <sighs> I'll pay good money to go and see that. You'll pay good money to do a lot of things. Yeah. Things, so. Next bit of showbiz news. Were you a fan of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? What, a story about how his life got flipped, turned upside down. He'd like to take a minute, just sit right there and tell you how he became the prince of a town called Bel-Air. You, no, hated it. Do you know what? I have got the <laughs> rap lyrics written out here. I was going to actually do it. <laughs> Damn you. So we're going to do these lyrics from the... Yeah. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yeah. And you have them typed out. I have them typed out ready, although I, I can remember some of brain. them. Okay, so after three. One, two, three. Now, now this, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, flipped turned upside down. down. And I'd like to take a minute, minute just right, right there. here. I'd like to take... <laughs> 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 I'd like to tell you about how I became the Prince for Town called Bel Air. In West, West Philadelphia, Philadelphia, born and raised in on the playground, playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, cool and all shooting up some b-ball outside of the school. school. Where a couple, couple of guys, they were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighbourhood. I got, I got in one little fight and my mum got scared. She said, you really 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 it was like the actual show. It was, yeah. Yeah. It goes on for about 14 more it verses. Does. Yeah, it so, but I'm not going to go. It's, like a, it's, like, it's a 30 minute show and it's like yeah. 28 minutes of rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, um, it's not coming back. This, the show is not coming back. But okay. the mansion that they used mm. to film the show in, mm. you can go and stay in it via Airbnb. Oh. For something like $30 a night. All right. Yeah. You can go, you can, you can hire it out. And it sounds quite, it sounds amazing. So you can, you can go, so they've kind of like done it all up. Mm. To kind of put like stuff memorabilia from the show in oh. it, so because obviously they didn't use the inside of the building because it was all a set, mm -hmm. but the frontage thing and the, the outside bit. Um, so, uh, so literally, it's just you walking in through the front door that was on screen. Yeah, that's it. But they've kind of set the inside up like it looked on the television program from the nineties. Yeah, yeah, with the big phones and yeah. shoulder pads and yeah. perms. And yeah, that. so yeah, so there. thirty dollars. You can go in, you can even book a mixing, a virtual mixing lesson from DJ Jazzy Jeff. Actual Jazzy Jeff? Yeah, the actual Jazzy Jeff. I mean, I don't know what Jazzy Jeff looks like. It could be anybody. He was the, the, the Will's friend that came along on occasion. Yeah. And got thrown out. And he wasn't in it properly, was he? He no, was he kind was. of, because it was the Fresh Prince, DJ Fresh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And no, Jesse but what Jeff. was what was Will Smith and him called? Is it not the Fresh Prince of Bel Air and Jazzy J? <laughs> I don't know. Summer, summer, summer time. That's the only one I remember. Um, so yeah, you don't can go in. Tune to it, right? Okay. <laughs> you can go in and um, stay there for night. And if you go on YouTube, Will Smith and DJ Jazzy Jeff have done a virtual tour of themselves going through it. Ah, oh. yeah. That's nice. It's interesting, though. Isn't $30, Thirty dollars a night. That's a that's a snip. I was going to say probably people stay there just because it's cheap. <laughs> yeah. Do you like uh, Fresh Prince? No, hated it. Uh, Absolutely can't stand it. So you weren't you weren't a fan. I wasn't really. I got a bit bored. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was worth me talking about because Mike's going to book it to go there. Mm. That's the end of the showbiz news. Thanks for that, Lee. It's always nice to hear about Madonna doing everything herself for her own gratification. But coming up soon, we have our life lessons. Indeed it is, but don't go anywhere because after this short break, it's Mike with The Buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to talk to the person who recently got described as the non-thinking man's Carol Baskin. Uh, sorry, I mean Vorderman. It's Mike in the bus. <laughs> Yes, because everybody knows that you don't use sort of like perfume to kill a man with a tiger. They use something like salmon oil or fish oil. Okay. To kill them. Yeah. Famously from Tiger King when she was trying to defend her not killing him. Oh, yeah, I don't, remember, I don't recall that. You don't recall that? No. Well, she basically admitted how to kill someone and get rid of oh. the body. Oh. And then went... <laughs> oh, right, OK, with salmon oil. With salmon oil, yeah. Is a particular way we do that? Just going to take a few notes. Just oil the fish. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> so I, I've, been, I've been having a rummage. And I'm using that word quite in purposefully. Mm. Um, as we found out recently, the Britain's biggest hoarder has recently died oh. and has left over four million pounds worth of <gasps> treasure. Okay. So in with all of the detritus of his, his lice. Lice? lice? Detritus of his lice? Detritus so of his lice. But they all fell off him as he died. Yeah. <laughs> they went, oh, he's gone. <laughs> 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 so things like, like milk bottles and bean cans and stuff. Um, they found over four million pounds worth of assets, oh. rare comics, okay. um, medals, um, old equipment. They had um, in boxes, Betamax players and everything, oh, oh, right? Okay. Which of course are now collectors' items. Was he a thief as well? No, no. He just collected. Just, them. just hoarded things. Never threw anything okay. away. Right. So things originally in their packing, he kept one side. Four million pounds. Four million pounds worth of stuff. Over six hundred thousand items. Wow. Were there. Um, so as they were cleaning out and getting rid and binning mm. all the, you know, the they were like, nappies and stuff. Adult nappy, adult yeah. nappy, burnt porn mag. Oh, a Ooh. tiara! <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> but why was the porn mag burnt? They tend to be, don't they? Yeah, when you find them in a forest, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you know, a whole generation out there watching now have, have no, no idea, idea what, what we're talking about. You know, about. watch porn, you just go on the internet and yeah, porn. Just do that. Yeah, yeah. They will never know the joys of finding a partially burnt porn mag. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of a forest. That you can actually open. <laughs> <laughs> Until it rained. Yeah, and then it just dissolved. <laughs> <laughs> like your hopes and dreams. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, yeah. so if we rummage through your your house mm. and you know, discarded all the burnt poor mags, what do you think the most valuable thing is we'd find in you in your There's house? nothing valuable in my house. Nothing. Really? Just all cheap knockoffs. <laughs> From 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 Wish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Nothing. They're not going to. Things that them. might look like they're no, they won't even look like they're expensive. <laughs> you clearly know it's tat when you, as soon as you see it. A lot of rubbish. You'd be lucky to get a tenner. All oh, right. Okay. Mm. But all the plastic and you know all the flowers and stuff, we could recycle them. Get money for recycling. Yeah. Yeah. Just melt it down into a cube, and then you can yeah. just bin it. Mm. Like that. We've gone to all that trouble to like, <laughs> melt it out of your cube. Just to throw it in the bin. Just to throw it away. Just recycle responsibly, though, people. Don't do a lean, just put it in the bin. Give you the right bin. They give you coloured bins for reasonably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then they're fine if you don't use them right. I know. Um, moving on. Been to the zoo recently, Lee? Not recently, no. Not recently. What's your favourite animal to see at the zoo? I'm partial to an elephant. An elephant? Mmm. Okay. Such a sexually aroused one. A <laughs> sexually aroused elephant? Yeah. In musk. Mm. Okay. <laughs> That's an insight <laughs> into Lee that I really didn't want. Um, do you ever go into the bird cages? And the, the aviaries? Is that a gay club from the 80s? <laughs> the aviary. I don't know. <laughs> the I bird born cage aviary. I didn't go um, clubbing in the 80s. Yeah. I, I, I must have done, yeah, at some point. In a zoo in the UK, Mm. They've had to move parrots about because they kept telling um, people where to go and not in a polite way. They were oh. telling them to we'll say Jeff off. Really? Yes. And the more people looked shocked, the more they would do it. Well, they're very intelligent parrots, aren't they? They are. But mm. they used to, especially small kids around, as soon as the parrots covering their ears going, no, 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 don't listen, don't listen. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, but the, the parrot it will have been the visitors more. that will have taught them how to swear in the first place. No, they were a gift to the zoo. A gift? Yeah, so someone said, I can't look after my parrots anymore. Here you are, here's the gift. And they came being able to swear. So you go into the enclosure, yeah. you see the parrot. Mm -hmm. It sees you. It sees you. You go, oh, look, a parrot. Oh, a parrot. And, it, and good morning. And it goes, fuck off, you mother fucking fucking face bastard. Pretty much. Yeah. That is, is that, is, yeah. Mm. I need that as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> It, I think we should have one in the car. Yeah. And then when someone cuts you off, you just send the parrot out. Yeah. <laughs> Flat pass. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, so, so they've had to remove them. Remove them from, from, I say display, they've had to put them somewhere else. In the oven. <laughs> in the oven, yes. <laughs> <laughs> parrot souffle. <laughs> um, and kept them separate so that they can oh. stop swearing. Do you think they will, though, if, they've, well, they've, they, if it's there? You can teach them different words and stuff, so I'm sure that they'll rehabilitate the parrots. Like with the cattle prod. Like a cattle prod. <laughs> Back with the oven. What is it about cooking these parrots that you want to do? I don't know what it is. I, I'm, I have, yeah, I've got issues. Yeah, yeah we, we know. Um, another story here about the Proud Boys. Do you know what the Proud Boys are? Um, uh, is, is this the one where they're kind of like a bit of a Political douchebags. They're, they're very right wing. Yes. I believe it's the, the correct way. Of the saying. correct way of saying it. Yes, they're, they're douchebags. Mm. Um, so, yeah, they're very right wing, um, anti LGBT, anti immigration, anti everything, really. Mm. Um, but had a, a hashtag out there called going Proud Boys. And of course, one or two gay men may use Twitter um, and saw this and decided we're going to steal this. Mm. Um, and so they started to use Proud Boys hashtag with men kissing, um, pride parades, um, and just just sharing the, the love of being proud. Mm, I did. Did you? I did. What I, did you, I what did you a picture of, you of, of me and my partner. Mm -hmm. hashtag, it fully clothed, obviously. Oh, OK. That's um, a change. Um, <laughs> was, was there a baked good with you? There was no baked goods. It was on a beach. Oh. We were fully clothed. Um, <laughs> you said that already. Just like to refer. <laughs> uh, we're, we're hashtag Proud Boys. Was the dog with you? Mm, she was around somewhere. She wasn't in the photograph. She was around somewhere. <laughs> she was around. She was around yeah. doing what dogs do. They call <laughs> yeah. Dogging, don't they? Yeah, having a swim. Yeah, um, yeah so I did that. Mm. Okay. Mm. Didn't they, though, um, then 
awkwardly change it to something like Leather Boys. Yes, they did. And thinking that would be completely non-gay related. <laughs> they did. <laughs> but that's another story for Is another it? show. Okay. <laughs> and if something makes you laugh so hard that Brew comes out of your nose, why not share it with us? Just look for The Cud TV on all your usual social media platforms. Our inbox is waiting for you to fill it, and that's just what happened this week when we received a letter from Mrs. Mycock in Cockermouth, and she says... Dear Chewing the Cud, Did you hear about the guy who invented the knock-knock joke? He won the Nobel Prize. Mrs. Belinda Mycock. <laughs> do you get that, or do I have to explain it to you? No, I get it. Just a s slight part of my soul died. I thought you sold that in 1972. <laughs> yeah, they're refuming granules. Just... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. But what do you prefer, Lee? Do you prefer ding-dongs or knockers? I prefer a ding-dong. Prefer mm. a ding-dong? Yeah. Always good to know. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that brings us to the story of the week. Okay. Have you ever been to Subway? The food shop or the, the underground place? No, no, the, the actual restaurant, shall we say. Okay. Of Subway. So when you're going into your Subway, what do you ask for from behind the counter? Meat. Meat. You just go there. Meat. 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 Forget them vegetables. Meat. Baguette. Now. Okay. <laughs> a baguette? Yes. All right. Okay. That's a, sh a shock. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, did you know that legally they can't call them bread? Why? Because in Ireland, um, because of the sugar content, they have to call them cakes. This is all good. You, you like cake, though, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, it's 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 a bread roll that they can't call a bread roll because it's cake because of the volume of sugar that it's got. Okay. In there. Right. So yeah, this is not bad. This is not bad. It is bad. No. Because so what? What, what, what do they, they need to cake? Hello. <laughs> well, what are they using then now? So they're still using the same recipe. They're just not allowed to call, call it bread, bread. Bread rolls. Okay. So they can still call them sort of like a, a, a six inch and a 12 inch. What? <laughs> um, yeah, so, why do I get that reaction? Is it meant so now you're inches? not allowed to, so you just go in and go, give me six inches. <laughs> and they go, oh! I've never got into a woman asked for six inches. I'll have a six inch salami. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's not that kind of shot. <laughs> I always go in and ask for 12 inches. To a foot, yeah. Gotta have a foot long. Okay. Because if it's not, if it's not, it's not filling enough. No, but it doesn't it, touch the sides. It doesn't. There's no you, point. You sat there with six inches. You sat there going, "Have I had it at all?" <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. But that's all I've got from the buzz this week. Oh well, thanks, Mike. That that is informative, bread related, and slightly sexual at the same time. Um, strap yourselves in, assuming you haven't been already. As coming up next is our life lesson. Welcome back. We just can't stop educating you, can we? As now it's time for this week's... Life Lessons. So yeah, Lee, what have you got for us? So, you know, like, we were going to have, like... So we have that phone conversation. Where, where I said, it's your turn to do the life lesson this week. Yeah. Um, just make sure it's something fun, yeah. I've totally forgotten to, to bring anything. Right, so that means I've got to go for the backup plan. Yeah. And we said we didn't really want to do the backup plan. No, no, but, but, but I've just been very busy. <laughs> and, I, and it cannot be helped. So you've just been working and sleeping and eating and that's about it? Yeah. Right, OK. Yeah. So we're going to have to get the backup plan out. So do you, we're going to have to play rock, paper, scissors, face. See, rock, paper, scissors, yes. I'm not, I'm not liking the face part. Okay. So you should, below your desk, have a pillow. I wonder what that was there for. Is this it... is the emergency pillow. So, yes. Is this your special... My special type pillow. Special cuddle pillow. No, no, no. This, these are old pillows. Old, old, old pill pillows. Old pillows. Old, 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 old pillows. You can tell they're old because when you hold them up, they do that. They'll be musty because they get, they get they get stored in a room that's not right. That's how you know it's an old pillow. 
Because it, it... That's, oh, no, it's rigid. Oh, yeah, you've got a rigid one, which means it's got lots of dead skin cells. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is we play rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. And if you lose, you smash your face into the pillow. So that's just like a Sunday night, then? Pretty much, yeah. Only you don't yeah. need to bite it. Oh. You just pop your face on it. OK. OK? So should we have a go? Not really, but... I'm going to take my glasses off, so don't break my glasses. Yeah, I've got new glasses, so I should take them off. Um, I should take my okay. hat off. You'll probably have to take your hat off, or at least turn it round. No, I'll... I'll, I'll... Right. Does, oh. Do you want to take any take my watch off? No, you don't need to take your watch off for rock, okay. paper, scissors. Face? No, I'm just thinking if I have to smash my face in a pillow. Yeah, it's your face, not your, not your wrists. Oh, I'm just having horrible boarding school flashbacks. <laughs> Did you go to boarding school? No! <laughs> okay. I'm <really> funny! <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so ready? I wish I did. One, two, three. <gasps> oh. Scissors get broken by a rock. Right, they do, so you'd have to smash your face into the pillow. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice, easy game, isn't it? Yeah. So that's level one. Okay. Level two. We're going to take some flour and pop it on the pillow. No. Yeah. So we're just going to sprinkle some flour on the pillow. And you sprinkle some flour into the pillow too. It's going to go for a pinch. No, 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 no. <laughs> Quite a lot. No. Yes. More. More. If you'd have prepared a life lesson, <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't have to use this one. How much? Is that enough? That'll, that'll do, yeah. There we go. So we pop that away. Can I just sound gluten intolerant? I can't do this. <laughs> really? I've seen how, many, how much cake you <laughs> I've seen those baguettes going in your face. <laughs> yeah. Yes, your face. Okay, you ready? Okay. So rock, paper, scissors. Ready? One, two, three. Paper. <gasps> Oh! Ready? One, two, three, rock. Oh, paper, that's rock! <laughs> You're right! <laughs> so now I just have to, what was it I have to do now? Just smash your face into the pillow. <laughs> nice. You look like when a drag queen <coughs> bakes a face. <laughs> uh, like Casper the Friendly Ghost. Oh. Gasper the Friendly Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, so that's, that's, that's a different look for me. I oh, OK. Yeah, OK. That's unfortunate. Yeah, then, so, so I've won then. <laughs> so yeah, you, you've won that level. Have we finished? Level two. Oh. A little egg. Oh, no. Yeah. A little egg for you there, Lee. No, 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 no. No? No. Cracked egg. That's... No, you... <laughs> <laughs> I can't. If you'd like to pop, pop your shell in the box so you can. Okay. <sighs> it could be worse. You could be sat with flour already on your face. Are we ready? For, ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Oh! Okay, one, two, three. I'm just going to pop my yolk, because I can. A bit of a wiggle. In your face! <laughs> oh. This feels lovely. You like making pasta with your hair. <laughs> exactly, like a really <laughs> awful cake. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, that's so Sorry, flowers going up my nose then. <laughs> so yeah, I'm ready to be deep fried. Okay. Should we have the next level? You, well, so far, so I'm kind far. of yeah, doing yeah. quite well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so now we're going to go for some cocoa powder. Oh, jeez. Are we making a chocolate cake? Just uh, with your face. With your face. There you go, so pop some cocoa powder on. That smells nice, though. It smells good. Now, now you want to put your no, face in it. No, I don't want to put my face in it, but it smells good. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. 
Oh, <laughs> you're doing really well now, aren't you? And I want to feel bad about it <laughs> because <laughs> I didn't bring a life lesson, but I'm actually secretly <laughs> quite happy. <laughs> All right, I suppose I better pop my face in this one. Okay, Delia, mix that back. <laughs> <laughs> Already then. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, you look like a little raccoon! <laughs> a little bit of egg went up my nose. Oh! It's not good, is it? it? It's not a taste sensation. Why, why would you do this? Why would you, do, why would you not? <laughs> Are you not enjoying yourself? <laughs> Is it something that you would kind of do at like a family gathering? Yeah. yeah. It's just to enhance rock, paper, scissors. Oh, okay. Do right. you not feel enhanced by rock, paper, scissors this I, way? I, I, I don't think I've ever played rock, paper, scissors before. Okay. Um, but I'm, I'm not convinced by this. <laughs> well, you have to have something extra on it, so... Yeah. Is it, are, we, are we done? <laughs> are we, I, are we, we there any more levels? One more level. Oh, God. Because you see, the, the more the levels go on, the more <laughs> chance there is. No. Some lovely yoghurt. I'm not doing it. Oh, you. Oh, lovely yoghurt. Mm. Mm. Let's pop some yoghurt on your pillow. No, the on, the come on, come on. Uh, More! Uh, yeah, come on. Now open your shirt and rub it in there. <laughs> Not that kind of show, Lee. <laughs> Ready? Last one now. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Um, we both have to do it if we get paper. I don't want to. The gallery is saying we both have to. I'm, I'm starting to bake here, so... Okay, what we're doing after three... Right, so, ready? <clears throat> One, two, two three... three. <laughs> <sighs> oh. oh! It's cold! It's cold! And, and smells delicious! <laughs> it does smell really good! <laughs> I'm thinking... Mom, Dad, I hope you're proud! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's dripping in my mouth! <laughs> it's dripping in my mouth! The egg is dripping in my mouth! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is not nice! <laughs> oh, dear. That's all for this week. We've got just enough time to say you can find us on our social media platforms. Just look for The Could TV and our website, which is thecud.tv. And while you're on our website, have a look at our support section for extra content, including outtakes. Before we go, like the cookie crumbs at the bottom of the jar, we've just time enough to show you our picture of the week, which comes from Ben Didick, who lives in Albuquerque. Dear Chewing the Cut, in these parts, I'm known for my spotted dick. Sincerely, Ben Didick. Oh, I do like a pudding. <laughs> I feel like I've had a spotted dick on my face. <laughs> it's actually burning. <laughs> well, um, thank you for watching, everybody. Please do tune in next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>